Justin Carrot's here. And you know what? <laughs> Today, I uh, am paying for a mistake I made. And we're on our way to this auction house in Delco to pick up another guitar I accidentally bought. So you're going to come with us today and we're going to go get it. It's the best kind of mistake. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but it's fun. All right, here we go. All right, so for our, we're taking a pit stop, get some breakfast here in Concha uh before we head down to Delco and pick up this guitar. <clears throat> on tray later. Okay, so we. Oh sh! Ah, oh, me. Take it. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank. Well, fine. All right. Anyways, who is Frank? I don't know. He's parking. Parking person. Oh. Parking, parking police. Um, yes, yeah, so we just got done eating. Uh, now we're gonna head down to Glen Thrills. Glen Thrills. Pew, pew, pew. Um, it's gonna be fun. Um, we're gonna get this freaking bucker, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. So let's go. Nikki found this freaking Bakker 620 on this auction site. And she came downstairs. Actually, let me back up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I came to get this Rickenbacker. Nikki came downstairs one night while I was working on my song. And she said, hey, there's this country gentleman for auction right now, starting at like, what was it, 900 bucks? Something like that, yeah. It was pretty cheap. And she's like, when I, she came in, she was like, I'm so proud of myself because I didn't buy it. I didn't put any bids on it. I was like, wow, that's great. And he's like, well, what else is up for auction? Well, what else is up for auction? And we go look. And she's like, oh, look at this Rickenbacker. And I go, look at that Rickenbacker. It was listed at $800 for this Rickenbacker. And I was like, I'm going to place a bid on it. And she was like, don't place a bid on it. And I was like, you're right, I shouldn't place a bid on it. But when the auction goes live, we're just gonna have some fun because I like bidding on things in auctions. And it gives me a rush. It gives me joy, it's fun, exciting. Even if you lose, there's all the hype about it. So the time comes when the bid goes live and it starts $800. A minute goes by, it says closing, last call, goes up to 850. I sit there, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I think I'm gonna bid on this. I think I'm gonna put up, I will go up to a grand and I'll be done. I'm like, it's a Rickenbacker. People are gonna like bid on it. So I swipe, and in a real simple little swipe, it was probably the most graceful swipe I ever did on a smartphone. And it said bid accepted, $900. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching it go. And I'm like, all right. Any minute now, somebody's gonna bid. Somebody's gonna beat me 950 because this is way too good for a Rickenbacker 620. Last call comes up. I'm like, all right, they're just waiting here, waiting here to snipe it. You know, here they come. And it's like ending now. And all of a sudden, the screen flashes. You win. And my stomach sank to the bottom of the sea. And I think all the color left my face because Nikki turned and asked me, and she was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I won the Rickenbacker. And she was like, oh, you bid on it. It's like, yeah. Because I shouldn't bid on it. Like, I have way too many guitars. I'm not, like, the best player in the world. I'm definitely, like, m amount of guitars I have in skill are not, like, equal. Um, but here I am with another Rickenbacker. Well, with, an, with a Rickenbacker. 
first Rickenbacker. Um, yeah, that's kind of like how we got this in. This auction house had had musical instruments for sale, and it was a steal. Now I'm broke, even broker than before. So we're here, uh, we just set a red light for like 15 minutes and the sun is like crazy hot today. My like pants are on fire. Uh, I just feel like I'm melting here in the front seat. I got like a real bad headache. So we're going here, get this guitar and then we'll take it home and show you what it's all about. Here we go. So we got it, uh, opened it up inside and it's pretty, pretty amazing. These latches on the case are super nice. And it's just like, it's beautiful. It like, picking it up, it just feels like a well-crafted instrument. Like, it's pretty amazing. And I'm pretty stoked to play it. So let's take it home. Good old case stuff. Oh, da -da -da. Great. Cool find. Let's go. One eternity later. All right, guys, so some time has passed and uh, I've gotten uh, acclimated to my Rickenbacker here. Uh, I gotta say, I played my first gig with it this past weekend and I really liked it. It's really fun to play. Um, a lot of things that people say, like the next thing uh, are right, especially on the 620 model, but it's cool. I like the feel of this guitar a lot. Um, it just looks cool too. At first I wasn't sure if I really liked it, but it's just like quirky and fun. Um, but I've been really enjoying it. The pickups are cool. I like using it on like the middle setting when both pickups on. And then I kind of have the fifth knob in the middle. So it's a little more bright, but it's good. It's a good guitar. Um, originally this guitar, when I bought it, it had 12s on it for strings and I put tens on it now and it feels a lot different it's a lot better and like it plays lead pretty well um i mean i'm not really great at lead to begin with but uh i like this so right now though what we're gonna do is put a mastery bridge on it mastery bridge here why put a mastery bridge on it you said you ask because the internet tells me to to be honest I kind of like bought this and I don't really think it needs the mastery um, a couple people I've talked to though said they wouldn't play their Rickenbackers without it anymore uh, but you know I already bought it and returning it's probably going to be a pain. So I'm just going to put it on 